Hi guys, I want to do a quick video showing you how I'm going to hook my water up for my kitchen area. Now, the one thing is I don't have my battery yet. I was waiting for a Blue Eddy to come. I got it online and I'm hoping it comes because it said that it was going to be coming from California. Well, I emailed them back and told them I would be moving soon and asked them when it would be coming. And they said that it was on its way from China. So I couldn't change my address. Anyway, now I'm going to be putting in my pump. Until it gets here, it won't be wired up. So I'm going to show you what I bought. Okay, I have the pipe, the little tube rather, it's a tube. And the tube is hooked to my pump, the pump that I got off online. I put this on this section of the my pump and this is the size that I have right here 3 8 by a half if you can see that and so I bought um, a little water container this water container here I got it from Walmart this is what it looks like on the side that's the name and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pump down into my container but right here as you see this little hole I had to drill this hole so it came like this with this piece and then another little piece right here that didn't have the hole in it and then it came with this little section that comes on so I just put this in I put my tube through and I also put my wire through it doesn't matter if the wire is coming out of the same hole I'm going to close this up with something maybe put some silicone around it so won't nothing get in my water but right now this is what I'm going to do I'm going to place this down into the container and once I get it down and I'm not going to let it drop because I don't want it to break so I'm going to place this down into the container screwing it on I, I do have this little bracket here this little bracket right here that I'll be put on the other end I'll put this on before I put my my little pieces on now these pieces right here, as you see, I'll show you. I got these pieces from Lowe's. This is the piece I got from Lowe's. These right here, this little piece here. You can see that this one is three eighths by three eighths. And this one is one half by three eighths right here. This is the one that's hooked to the the faucet itself, the faucet hope that the tube, you know, those two, two, it, this part is hooked to this. I had to get two things because with the tube, I needed to put this in in the tube and make sure it was the right size and then make sure it was the right size for this. So this is the 3 eighths by 3 eighths right here. And yes, and then this one is the 1 half by 3 eighths. So we'll put that down and then I'm just going to put my tube take my tube and this little connector adapter and stick it in slide it in like that and then what I'll do is I'll pull this up on top of here and then I'm going to get my screwdriver and I'm going to be screwing it on I got my screwdriver somewhere in here Let me see. I know I should have it I had it up there, but I moved it. So, and then I'll just tighten this down. You want to just tighten it on here. I mean, it went on. It's kind of tight, but I want to make sure that there's no leaks when I when I do start. I want to make sure, like, I don't want any leaks or anything in the van or in my house or anywhere. I always try to, to go extra. So I'm tightening it up. I'm not going to go too tight. I don't want to mess it up. So... And it is brass, so it's not plastic, so it's not going to like pop, but I just don't want to mess the plastic tube up too and go down too far and then mess that up and then have a leak. So I've got this in. Now, this is going to be for the cold, so I don't have a piece for the hot water. But if anybody thinks I need to plug this up, please leave a comment. You know, I don't mind any extra help. Um, it's... I don't think any water is going to come back down through it because it's separate and it's on a separate section. 
and it shouldn't at all because when I'm in my house and I'm putting it together it should it does not have the same water line at all so it should not you know come through but I don't know some things happen so now I've got this on tight I did put some some um, tape on here some plumber's tape on this section and I, and I screwed it together I'm just trying to make sure it's on on tight and I'm gonna take my container and I'm gonna drop my container down in, in the sink area so my container is now in the sink area and I pulled my sink out and I'm going on top so I'm gonna show you, show you how this is. okay so I took my sink out because in this section I still have these little drawer things here I still have these here and I'm not sure if I'm going to use this as a like one of those drawers where you you pull that right here because I still have room see how much room I have just a little room just a little room for right here and then in here I have some room just a small amount of room and then at the bottom I could put something but right now I have this on here my clean towel and another towel and another, my um, dish stuff back there a little spray for the floor it's a floor spray but anyway my soap but um right now i'm done with that and um you, as you see that's together so i'm done with the pump putting it in and hooking it up for the water section when my generator comes then i will show you how i'm going to hook my pump up to my generator and I may get a battery uh, meanwhile and then hook it up and I do have to buy the other pieces so um, I was I was really waiting on my blue 80 to come and then I can hook it up but I may just have to get a battery until it comes if it arrives I'm hoping hoping they send it to me mm. but um, anyway just wanted to make that quick video to show you how I put my pump in and what I used and I will get back with you and let you see how it works once I get everything turned on. Now, time to put the sink back in. I'm going to put it in here. It just slides in like this. See, it's in the hole. Once, once I get it in the hole, then the fun begins. So, it's in that hole. Now, it's another container right here that I have to put it in. So, I have to put it in that hole as well sit you right here so you can see so now I, I gotta get back up a little just a little go under and put it down now now it's back in let's see you see it's in this is my little gray tank right here that I use I use this as a gray tank because I don't want the water just to spill. I had a, a tube where it could run out, but um, I, that's my little gray tank. So I'll be using that for now. And anyway, that's it, guys. I will let you see how the water works once I get my, my generator started, okay? And you guys have a good day. Bye.